Well, hi there. It's Grandma Jean back again. We're back in the kitchen and we're cooking to your taste. Don't forget. Now, yesterday we made our meatballs. Now, today we're going to add them to our sauce to finish cooking them. Here are the ingredients for our spaghetti sauce. One large can of tomato sauce. Also, one large can of tomato puree. One small can of tomato paste. And a cup and a half of water to mix with your paste. We also need a half a teaspoon of oregano, a quarter teaspoon of basil, a half teaspoon of salt, or to your taste. I'm also going to put hot sausage in my sauce because I like it. That's optional. We will put a pinch of sugar and don't forget a pound of spaghetti or your favorite pasta. And also I took one small uh, green pepper, cut it in half, and I'm going to put that in my sauce. Now, all right, I'm using my crock pot today. Many of you have asked, do I cook in a crock pot? I love to use it for my spaghetti. We are going to mix all of our ingredients now. So I will be putting the sauce in the crock pot. Now, that was the tomato sauce and the puree. Next, we will be adding our tomato paste. If you have a lot of sauce left over, you can take and you can freeze it. We will add our basil and oregano. And we'll just put that in there. Our salt. And I did say a pinch of sugar. Just a pinch. I'm going to stir that around. And I'm also going to add my green pepper, because I like green peppers. We will also be placing our meatballs in next. And if you noticed, I had a piece of hot sausage. I'll put that in there. And make sure that everything is just covered up nicely. I am going to replace my lid. I have turned my crock pot on high and I'm going to let it cook. Now, once it starts cooking and boiling, I want you to understand, I will remove the lid and place this screen over the crock pot. For the simple reason, if you leave your lid on, the condensation from the lid being on will thin your sauce. So we will, after it starts cooking, we will replace the lid to keep it from splattering all over. Then, when it's done, you can take your pasta, cook it according to the directions on the package. When it's done, you can later, you, we will show you later the finished product and taste. All right, now remember, yesterday when we made our meatballs, we didn't finish cooking them. So we did put them in the sauce today to finish cooking them and to flavor the sauce also. Now, I want you to remember that I do leave my crock pot on high. We will leave it like that for approximately two hours. And uh, at the end of two hours, you should find the consistency that you really desire. Now, one thing for those that are using regular cookware, when your sauce starts cooking, take and lower your heat to simmer. Stir frequently so that it doesn't burn, and you can leave the lid partially on your pot. So. I would say at least 
on the stove with a steady heat, you approximately an hour and um, 15 minutes or so, your meatball should be thoroughly cooked and your sauce should be done. So now we have cooked our spaghetti according to the package. We are going to try our product now. Here is this, put a little sauce and some meatballs right out of the crock pot. And I can guarantee you that your sauce will not be runny. It will stick to your pasta. And I'm only going to use one meatball for myself right now. And we're going to take and sprinkle. You know how we love to sprinkle. We just love to sprinkle everything we can get our hands on. So that means don't forget to sprinkle gnome and backyard. We just love it when you do. And I'm, I'm going to also sprinkle just a touch of Parmesan cheese. Oh, well, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Well, I think we're ready to taste the finished product. I just love to twirl my spaghetti. Put a little bit on your fork, twirl it around the spoon, and voila, let's try it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The sauce is excellent. I want to try a little bit of the meatball. You can't let the meatball go. Mm. The meatballs are nice and moist, and they're really good. So I hope that you enjoy your pasta. And until we meet again, don't forget sprinkle them in backyard and sprinkle a little kindness along the way. So until we meet, you take care.